Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are comparing 300 Winchester Short Magnum to 300 Winchester Magnum. Many people believe these two are ballistic twins, doing it in different packages and sizes. So let's find out, can the 300 WSM match the 300 Win Mag? The year was 1963. And in 1962, Remington introduced a very good cartridge that took off like wildfire, and Winchester needed to respond. And that very next year, they responded with the 300 Winchester Magnum. And to this day, the 300 Winchester Magnum is the most popular and most used 30 caliber Magnum. The parent case to the 300 Winchester Magnum is the 375 h and H. Now, previously, a few years back in the late 50s, Winchester introduced their two cartridges that were kind of um, meant for the lower 48 and Alaskan. So the lower 48 was kind of the failed 264 Winchester Magnum, and then for the Alaskan cartridge, the 338 Win Mag. And what those were is a shortened 375 H and H case neck down to 264 and neck down to 338. But what's different about the Winchester the 300 Winchester Magnum is that the cartridge length, at least the brass, is 2.620, while the 338 and the 264 Win Mag are 2.500 inches. So Winchester wanted to increase the case capacity and uh, make it a little bit more powerful, and it, that's exactly what they did. However, as you can see here, they decided to keep it in a long action or a standard action, like the 30-06. So what that does, though, is with a longer case, uh, you're going to have to seat your bullet a little bit farther into the case. Some of the popular hunting bullets for the 300 Win Mag kind of start with the 150 grain, and you can get that up to 3,400 feet per second. It's pretty darn good. Uh, we'll just skip up to the 180 grain. We're going to be using 180 grain bullets in this uh, comparison to the 300 WSM. And it's right at kind of middle 3,100, so it's around 3,150, maybe a little bit more very good performance and this it just makes the 300 Win Mag such an extremely versatile cartridge. In 2001 Winchester decided to make another 30 caliber Magnum that was kind of going to be a 300 Win Mag clone in a much shorter package. So Winchester shortened basically a 404 Jeffrey case so and it's not belted and uh, the length of the 300 WSM is only 2.100 inches. So it's about the same length. Maybe it's a little bit more than a 308 Winchester. But obviously the diameter of the case is much larger. Um, it is a bit larger, obviously, than the 300 Win Mag. And that's how it actually keeps up with the Win Mag is because of how fat the case is. And the cartridge overall length is basically the same as a... 308 Winchester, 2.860 inches. So with these bigger bullets, they will eke into the powder capacity a little bit. I think Winchester made a pretty successful short magnum. Let's go ahead and look at the 150 grain like I did in the 300 Win Mag and a top velocity of just over 3,300 feet per second. So there is a little bit of an advantage for a 300 Win Mag. Then let's go ahead and skip to... 180 grain and you're getting a top velocity of middle 3,000 feet per second. Now in the newest Nosler book they have it around 3,090 feet per second. So I say there's about a 50 to 60 feet per second difference between the 300 WSM and the 300 Winchester Magnum. So it is really close to being a ballistic twin. One thing that I find fascinating with how the WSM 
matches 300 Win Mag performance is just how more efficient it is with that being small, short, fat case. Uh, the case capacity of a 300 Win Mag with a 180 grain bullet is 82.3 grains. And the 300 WSM with the same weight grain bullet, case capacity is 71.3. So there is 11 grain difference. And the 300 Win Mag is only about 50, 75 feet per second faster. This thing is really efficient. Let's go ahead and start with the 300 WSM loaded with a 180 grain AccuBond with a BC of 0 0.507. Muzzle velocity 3,075 feet per second. The energy, very impressive, almost 3,800 foot pounds. And let's just take this out to normal hunting distances. Out to 400 yards, this is going 2358 feet per second. Energy is still really good. 2,223 foot-pounds, and only 23.09 inches a drop. It's pretty flat shooter, and it's going to have plenty of power for anything in the lower 48. Now, one thing that's important is to know how fast or how slow your bullet can still go before, while still expanding. And I'd say you're still safe with an AccuBon going 2,000 feet per second, so out to 600 yards is, I would say, the max range for the 300 WSM in this bullet, and it still has 1,600 foot-pounds of energy. So plenty for elk, uh, and 68.69 inches a drop. Okay, same bullet. This time it's going about 75 feet per second faster, 3150 in the energy. It's close to 4,000 foot-pounds. So when you hand load the 300 Win Mag, you can get a lot more performance from it. Just generally speaking, compared to factory ammo, not compared to the 300 WSM, uh, they're very close. So out to 400 yards, again, the bullet's going just a little bit quicker, 2,422 feet per second. And it's going to have, I don't know, almost 100 more foot-pounds and about a 2-inch difference of drop. So there is a little difference. Is it really noticeable? Probably not. And again, out to 600 yards, the bullet's going now probably... Well, I don't know, 40, maybe 50 feet per second faster. Energy, maybe 100 more foot-pounds, so not a huge difference. And 64 inches of drop. So, is it a ballistic twin? Technically, no. But really, yeah. I mean, depending on each rifle, I mean, you could have a faster 300 WSM than a faster 300 Win Mag, just depending on what rifle shoots faster. So they're very close. So which one is the better 300 Winchester Magnum? Well, I think it comes down to personal preference. Um, the 300 WSM is definitely the most successful short Magnum, um, but the 300 Win Mag definitely outbeats it in sales. Uh, ammo is just cheaper in 300 Win Mag. And you can get a, just a little bit more performance with the 300 Win Mag, especially with the heavier bullets. Um, with the heavier bullets, that high BC long bullet will eke into the 300 WSM's case capacity. But the 300 WSM, I feel like, is getting more popular and hunters are wanting to use it, especially with suppressors, because they come with 24-inch barrels instead of 26. And... It's, it's a more efficient cartridge, for sure, and a bit more modern. But which one would you guys pick? Personally, I'd go with the, the one that's a little bit faster. So I'm going to pick the 300 Win Mag just because I would want a little bit more performance.